Lesson 112, Graphing and Solving Systems of Linear and Quadratic Equations. When you have um, a graph and you're trying to find a solution to a system of equations, the solutions are just the points of intersection. Could be one point, could be zero points, or it could be multiple points. A quadratic equation is a parabola and a linear equation is a straight line. So if we have a parabola and we have a straight line that goes through two sides of the parabola, we're going to have two solutions, and it's right where they intersect. If you have a parabola and a line that just touches the parabola at one point, then you're going to have one solution. And then if you have a parabola and a line that is not going to touch the parabola at all, there's going to be no solutions. So I'm going to show you an example where we are going to find the zeros, which means uh, find the intersections. So we're going to graph y equals x squared and y equals 2x. So y equals x squared is a parabola that goes through 0, 0, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 4, negative 2, 4, and we'll continue on. Now y equals 2x goes through 0, 0, and then the slope is 2 over 1, so you can rise 2 and go over 1 and rise to and go over 1. So it's a line that's going to go through 0, 0 and 2, 4. Those are the solutions or the intersections of the parabola and the line. Here's another example. If we're asked to find the solution to y equals x and y equals x squared plus 2. So y equals x goes through 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, so on and so forth. Uh, y equals x squared plus 2 is a parabola that is just like y equals x squared, but it goes up two units. So it's 0, 2, 1, 3, and 2, 6, and then it will continue up. Now this particular system has no solutions. Now there is a way to solve it using substitution. So if we had our system, we had y equals negative x plus 1, and we had y equals x squared plus 3x plus 3. I can take the first equation y equals negative x plus 1 and I can plug that in for y in my second equation. So since y equals both of those, they're both, they both have to be equal to each other. So what I do is I want to set equal to 0. So I want to get 0 on this side. So I'm going to add x and subtract 1. Add x, subtract 1, and I get 0 equals x squared plus 4x plus 2. Oh wait, that was supposed to be a minus. This is going to work better if this is a minus 1. Will you change that to a minus 1? 
That way when we add 1 to both sides, this becomes a 4, and now it's a perfect square trinomial, and we can factor it. So we can say x plus 2, x plus 2, equals 0. So we can say that x plus 2 equals 0. You subtract 2, so x can equal negative 2. Then I plug that in to y equals negative x minus 1. So I have negative 2 minus 1. y is going to be negative. Wait a minute. It's negative x. Ugh. x is negative 2, so negative, negative 2. That's a positive 2. Minus 1 is 1. So our solution is negative 2, 1. And that's where they're going to intersect. And there's only one point here that they're going to intersect. And that's your solution. And that is the end of the lesson.